When talking about equipment, eyepieces are the items that, short of the telescope itself, can have their biggest impact on the image quality when observing objects in the night sky. There are several good options on the market today, all trying to strike a balance between quality and price. The most appealing to us customers being the ones that offer views with little compromises and also don't break the bank. One company that seems to constantly offer products that punch above their weight class is Explore Scientific, especially with their 82 degrees eyepiece lineup. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's see together if the 14mm 82 degree argon purged eyepiece from Explore Scientific can deliver on its promise of offering premium quality at an affordable price point. Explore Scientific is a young company founded in 2008 by Scott W. Roberts, the former VP of Mead Instruments. The headquarters is located in Springdale, Arkansas, but the products are manufactured in China by GOC and then distributed across the globe under the name Explore Scientific. Their goal to make quality astronomical equipment affordable and thus accessible to the masses has been their motto from the beginning. One area where this attempt is especially visible is their 82 degrees eyepiece lineup. With a very generous apparent field of view, decent eye relief and a waterproofed and inert gas filled body, the eyepiece in this lineup certainly look great on paper. The whole series consists of 12 eyepieces with focal length starting from 4.5 mm and a 1 and a quarter inch form factor and all the way up to 30 mm and a 2 inch form factor. They all offer a comfortably wide 82 degrees apparent field of view and a multi-element lens design with fully multi-coated lenses with darkened edges to minimize light scattering and internal reflections. The eye relief is decent and varies between 13 and 22 mm, depending on the focal length of the eyepiece. A couple of years ago, Explore Scientific also introduced a version with a slightly longer eye relief for some of the eyepieces in this series, making it even more interesting. Today, I have the 14 mm version with me, and over the past weeks, I had the chance to thoroughly test it. I use it in combination with both my 12 inch product from Omegon and with my 4 inch Mac from Skywatcher. Besides the 82 degree apparent field of view, this eyepiece also features an eye relief of 15.6 mm and 18.9 mm diameter for the field stop. The eyepiece houses multiple fully multi-coated lenses with durable enhanced multi-layer deposition coating. The use of low dispersion glass with a high refractive index further increases the light transmission capability whilst reducing unwanted aberrations. And to top it all off, all the lenses have darkened edges to improve contrast and reduce light scattering even further. All this leads to a great optical system that has the ability to produce a very sharp bright and contrast rich view of the night sky that is almost free from optical aberrations. And here I'm talking about premium levels of image quality. If the image quality of the Teleview Delight with respect to brightness, contrast and sharpness is a perfect 10, then the image quality produced by the 14mm Explore Scientific is a solid 8. Whilst observing Jupiter, the cloud bands and the great red spot were clearly visible and had a nice brown reddish color to them. In all my tests, I wasn't able to notice any internal reflections and only very light traces of chromatic aberrations in case of very bright targets. Build quality wise, the Explore Scientific is excellent. The eyepiece is compact and feels very sturdy and dense when holding it in hand. It's like holding a single piece of metal. The weight of 256 grams and the perfectly machine milled pieces of metal also help with this premium feel. To be honest, 
It feels a lot like a Teleview eyepiece. All this doesn't mean that the 40mm 82 degrees eyepiece from Explore Scientific is perfect. It does have some flaws, but these are only minor drawbacks. For example, the field of view, whilst very wide, isn't very flat. Having a noticeable curvature to it, a Teleview Panoptic or a Delight has a flatter field of view by comparison. Also, the 15.6mm of eye relief is okayish. When I was using it, I always felt the need to get comfortably close to the lens with my eye to see as much as possible of the field of view. I believe that this feeling only gets accentuated by the huge 82 degrees apparent field of view. At least the diameter of the top lens is 20 millimeters wide, which improves the experience by looking through this eyepiece a bit. On the other hand, however, the immersion when observing the night sky is awesome. Not being able to see the borders of the field of view right away is something great. In terms of compatibility with other equipment pieces, the 14mm 82 degrees eyepiece from Explore Scientific shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Its compact size and one and a quarter inch form factor should work well with any telescope, no matter how small. This eyepiece also plays nicely with bellow lenses. I was able to test it with my 2X bellow from Teleview and didn't have any issues at all. Its compact size and field stop of 18.9 millimeters also make this eyepiece compatible even with smaller binoculars viewers like the one from William Optics or Omegon, producing images that aren't affected by vignetting. In order to give you guys a better understanding of what different objects in the night sky look like when observed with this eyepiece, I've set up some views uh, using Stellarium. Please keep in mind that these are simulated views and not actual views of the night sky. This is only to give you a general idea of what the field of view is like. This 14mm 82 degrees eyepiece from Explore Scientific is a really great piece of equipment. One that can hold its own against premium eyepieces like Teleview, both in terms of image and build quality. Don't get me wrong here. It's not as refined as a Teleview Nagler, for example, but it's not very far off either. And at 230 bucks MSRP in the US and 175 euros in Germany, it also costs less than half the price of an Aigler, making this eyepiece a fantastically good choice. I can wholeheartedly recommend this eyepiece to anyone looking for an upgrade. You won't be disappointed. Now that I've told you my opinion about this eyepiece from Explore Scientific, I'm curious to see what your experiences are with this lineup and with Explore Scientific in general. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have questions or feedback, then please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.